we're going to go over how to make this cam an inventor. Um, this one is got some symmetry to it here. So um, in fact, the situation here, for those of you who may have done this one, this is the straightforward situation where your object at the very beginning is as low as it can go. It goes up to the highest point halfway through and then comes right back down and at the end of everything is back at the beginning. So it really just goes up and down once for every turn and it's nice and symmetrical as you can see from this. Um, and we're going to use that symmetry to our advantage because you'll notice the top half of this is identical to the bottom half. And so we're going to show you how to reflect it. So first of all, and here's our data over here that we collected. So we're going to go to Inventor and open up a part. Start a 2D sketch. Do it on the XY plane. And it's important that we click on the construction constraint here, or not constraint, but feature. Um, very important that we do that. That will make the lines that we're about to make dotted. If they are not dotted, you are not doing it correctly. Go up and undo everything and click this button. So I click here, and my first spot is at 6 16 So I click in the center, and I move over to the side, and I do 6 16 6 divided by 16, tab at 0 degrees. And I hit Enter. You'll see it's a nice dotted line. Once again, if it's not dotted, undo and click this first. All right, we're going to do that for the other ones as well. So we just did this first one, 0 is 6 16 and then 20 degrees is 8 and a half, um, and so on. So I'm going to grab this. Let's see. We're going to go here, center, and we're going to go. Let's see. This one is, let me find the right one. Here we go. Eight and a half sixteenths. So I'm going to go 8.5 divided by 16. And then I'm going to hit tab, and the angle is 20 degrees. And I hit enter. And there it is. Double click on the end to free myself up. And then we're going to go here, the origin, and out here. And the next one was 11 sixteenths. So 11 divided by 16. Tab. And that was at 40 degrees. 40. If you're wondering where I got that information, it's all here on this piece of paper. So, and I have that paper in front of me, which is why I don't have to go back and forth. Um, next one is going to be 13 sixteenths tab. At 60 degrees. And then 16 sixteenths, so one inch. Tab at 80 degrees. Double click on the end, free up the motion, and then seventeen sixteenths at ninety degrees. Eighteen sixteenths. At 100. Twenty one sixteenths at 120. Twenty three sixteenths. At 140, twenty five and a half, so twenty five point five sixteenths by sixteen tab at one sixty, and then Uh, 
28 sixteenths at 1 eighth. Now, at this point, we could continue. I'm going to click up here at line and hit escape. I could continue doing this and go all the way around, but there, in this case, there's symmetry. So we're going to use this symmetry to our advantage. We're going to take everything we've just done and flip it so that it reflects over this x-axis. So we're going to use what's called the mirror function here. We're click mirror. We're going to select every one of the lines we just did. So i got to find them all here. Let's see. There's... So this first one, I'm going to have to hover here for a second. I think I want curve. Let's find it. Curve one, maybe. Let's check. There it is. Curve 12 in this case. It's the one I want. I can tell from the, from the fact that it turned white. So I'm going to click that one. And then I'm going to also click this. And this. This. Actually, let me click. Let me close that out. Let's try that again. We're going to hit mirror function. I'm not even worried about that first one. I'm just going to do this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Now click all the things that aren't on this axis. We'll just do those. So I just did those, and now I have to select the mirror line. So I click this, and I'll pick this right here. Or I could pick this. It doesn't matter. Anything on this x-axis will work. I'll choose this one, and I hit apply. And notice it just reflected every one of those across the axis. And so I can see them all. Now I have, if you take the starting at the ends of each of these, I can follow it around and create my shape. And to do that, I use under the line feature here, I go down to spline where it says interpolation. Now finding that first one, there it is right there. It's, see where it says 0.375, it's at the end of that, you'll find it right there. And click once at the end of that first line, and then go to the end of the next. The end of the next one. The next one. And don't worry about what the thing's doing while you're doing it. It might look weird. truth is, I just thought of something, you may have thought of it too, is if I just hit check, now, oh, that's right, I forgot to turn off the construction, but if that happens to you, don't panic, we don't have to hit undo. I believe all we have to do is right click on it, click on construction, and that will make it not construction. There we go. We could, we could have just used the mirror feature here, couldn't we? We probably didn't need to actually do all these, because once I make this half of the curve, I could, let's try mirroring it. So I'll go here, mirror, select that curve thingy that I just made. Will it let me? Interesting. Doesn't seem to be letting me, so maybe I needed to, I guess. Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. So we will continue our spline. We'll pick it up where we left off here. Here, here, check, okay. Well, that didn't seem to work. Uh, yeah. Now, you know what? We'll do this. If that happens to you, do this. Click point, and we're going to put a point at the end of every one of these segments. So maybe when we reflected them. So if that happens to you, and it doesn't seem to work that like it just did for me, I'm pretty sure that if we put a point at the end of every one of these segments, I'll pull 
put one here, put one here for good measure, and then try this. stuck on construction again there we go all right I think we have our general shape now a couple things about this shape where it dips in here could give us a bit of a headache if we think that is going to give us a headache we can kind of smooth it out by creating an arc maybe a tangent arc to say here No, that's not what we want. Let's try that again. Let's make sure construction's off. Let's try a different kind of arc. Let's go three point. Go from here to here. And then we'll just kind of smooth her out a little bit. Something like maybe that. There we go. And now our cam will come around and we won't, instead of dipping into here where the follower might get caught, it'll just kind of smooth its way across. The other option here is to just, looking at your design, is to simplify it using, I'm not even sure what this is. Um, let's get rid of this. Is to simplify it using, um, say, just making a, a, a circle, but putting the center off center um, in that case you know, for example you could do something like this you could say you know if this, this looks a little messy or something and you want a smoother shape to it you could always just do um, a new part and 2d sketch here and just start by making a circle um, that is, let's see, I think that diameter was, let's double check. Inspect distance. So, uh, roughly speaking, the diameter would have been from there to there. 2.3 inches. All right, that'll work. So we'll go back here. We'll redo that circle. We'll give it 2.3 inches diameter and then we'll put this the circle that we're going to rotate it through we'll put that about uh, let's see let's put it about three eight sets put it about six sixteenths or half an inch maybe off to the side we'll try half an inch so we go to this part and we're going to say another circle off to the side here who's going to be 0.25 in diameter, and we're going to dimension it from here. Let's see. Let's get two points in here. So we want to put a point here and a point on the circle here. There we go. And we're going to dimension those two. It's so a distance from that point. To that point, I would like to be, um, actually, no, we're going to do it this way. The dimension from the center of this to that point, I'll make that a half an inch. Or if we thought that was too far, we could always move it in, in a little bit. I'm uh, sorry, move it out a little bit to be 6 sixteenths. But this is not a bad approximation for this. Truth is, particularly if we, if we smooth this out like we see here, it really isn't that much different. Um, and it might be simpler to make. So if your shape is one that uh, you're a little bit complicated that way, you could always do that. But for us, I think we're pretty good with this. So let's take the circle. 
we have to put a quarter inch circle for the axis to go through or the axle to go through. 0.25. All right, let's see if we can extrude this thing. Do I dare try to trim these? We'll see. I'm not confident, but we'll see. Try to extrude it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. See, not let me extrude it, is it? So this is another reason why, where sometimes we might be better off going with something like this and simplifying it, because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to extrude that. Um, there's a couple somewhere in here they're not connected, and that's always going to be um, a possibility with this one. Um, notice when I did it, if you recall, I did the spline halfway and then stopped and then created a new one, and I'll bet you that's why um i have issues or it could be in here where i did the trim feature so one of those two things has left me with a sh an outline that looks to me to be complete but to the program it is not that's all right um in this case if i decided to do the simpler one i could this would not be a difficult thing to extrude at all we could extrude that 0.25 inches and our shape would be ready to go in this one I'm gonna we're gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to undo a bunch of stuff and probably redo that spline all the way to round um, probably not worth watching me do that though I think we have the general idea of what's gonna happen but I would suggest that we redo that spline all the way around um, and then see if we can extrude it. If you have any trouble past that, uh, check in with me and we'll get you straightened away.